Letra Otlo Pohole. I'm the Chief Technology Officer at the Trustnet Center of Systems Engineering. And I wrote the article titled Systems Engineering from a South African Perspective. And in looking at that article, I started by thinking of the economies in the world. And one can clearly see that increasingly they are based on information and technology. Therefore, we know that at the center of most of the economic growth lies technology. And technology is very important to us. So when looking at Transnet, for example, it's a state-owned company. It's got many challenges from government to contribute to economic growth. They have a lot of problems where they needed to come up with new projects. They needed to come up with new ways of doing things. So they needed a combination of engineering technologies and new innovations. And that's a complex problem. And that's where systems engineering comes in. So from a South African perspective, systems engineering actually started over about 30 years ago when South Africa again needed to be a leader in terms of technology. And they went into systems engineering because they saw the need to integrate the different disciplines when you're dealing with complex projects. Whether it's mechanical, electrical, or mechatronics or civil, when you're dealing with complex projects, there's always the need to integrate the different disciplines. Because traditionally, we focus on our own disciplines and we end up having this throw it over the wall mentality. So systems engineering is required now by the different companies as it was required by the defense industry over 30 years ago. So the article talks about how we see systems engineering, how it has evolved, and how it's actually used to bridge the gaps of the different disciplines, all in the effort of looking at the bigger picture, all in the effort of making sure that we deliver systems that are successful. And we have many examples of projects where such approaches were not used and the results are not worth mentioning. They were disastrous. So read this article and you'll realize the power of systems engineering and you can go to a number of institutions like Vert University where systems engineering is actually taught at postgraduate level. We also have University of Cape Town and Stellenbosch as the three main universities where you can learn more about systems engineering and apply it to any environment, be it a state-owned company, be it a private business, be it a small enterprise, or even running the government. One can really learn from the approaches that we've come up with. Thank you.